Hello, children. Our new series is about serving. Say together with me, I can serve. In our last lesson, we learned that being humble as we serve like Jesus. Jesus taught us that anyone who wants to be important must be a servant. Today, I have some gifts. How many of you here love to receive gifts? Hooray! I do. And talking about gifts, do you know that God has given every single one of us different gifts, talents, and abilities? So let's take a look at what are some of the gifts that God has given to my friends. God has given me the gift to bake. Wow, look at this. And I am always very happy to see my family and friends enjoying the cakes I bake for them. God has given me a gift of technical skills. I can solve computer problems easily. God has given me the gift of drawing. Let me draw a rabbit for you right now. Are you ready to see my rabbit? Ta-da! Wow, children, that's right. God has given us different gifts. And God has also given you a very special gift. Let's take a look at what our Bible says that our gifts are for. And that is our Bible memory verse for today. It's taken from 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. And it says that God's gift of grace come in many forms. Each of you has received a gift in order to serve God others. You should use it faithfully. Our gifts are used for serving others. When God gives us a gift, He expects us to use it faithfully. He doesn't want the gift to go to waste. God wants us to take that gift and to use it to show others how great He is and to serve others. Children, Jesus told a parable, which is a story to teach a lesson. In a parable of the talents, a very rich man called his three servants together and told them that he would be going for a long trip. So he divided up his wealth and left them in charge of it. To the first servant, he gave five talents. Now, that might not sound like very much to you, but in Jesus' day, that was a lot of money. To the second servant, he gave two talents. To the third servant, he gave one talent. Even that one talent was worth a lot. The first servant took the five talents his master had given him and put it to work and worked five more, which was ten talents. The second also invested his two talents wisely and earned two more, which was four talents. The third servant took his one talent and buried it in the ground for safekeeping. When the master returned, he was very happy when the first two servants told him that they had doubled his money. Well done, he said, because you have been faithful with what I have given you, I will give you much more. Hmm, how about you? He asked the third servant. What did you do with the money that I left with you? The third servant said to the master, I knew you were a hard man and I was afraid. So I went out and hid your treasure in the ground so that it would be safe. See, here it is. The master was angry. Ah! You are a wicked and lazy servant. You could have at least put my money in the bank when you would earn more. He then took the one talent from the lazy servant and gave it to the one who had ten talents. In this parable of the talents, God is the master and you and I are his servants. God has given us talents too. God created each of us with special gifts and talents and he expects us to use those gifts. Sometimes we might think God hasn't given us very much talent. We might even be tempted to hide our talent. But when we use our God-given talent to be all that God has planned for us to be, He will give us even more. But if you have a chance to do something for God that He gave you special abilities for and you don't do it, guess what? You will lose your special gift. God has given us different gifts and talents. When I was your age, I didn't know what my gift was. In fact, my teachers would always write on my report book that Wendy is a talkative girl. 
But look, I have grown up to become a teacher, teaching children here in Harvest Kids. And not only that, I've also graduated with a master's in counselling and I am good at listening and giving good advice to children and their families. Maybe you're not sure what your special gifts are yet. You can ask your parents or teachers what they think your gifts are. Listen and watch others compliment you or notice something good about what you're doing. To you, it might be something small, but to God, it's special, very valuable gift that only you have. And I want you to keep on using your gift faithfully and serving others because our Bible memory verse tells us that God's gift of grace comes in many forms. Each of you have received a gift in order to serve others. You should use it faithfully. Shall we close our eyes and let's pray together? Dear God, thank you for the different gifts and talents that you have given to every single one of us. I pray that we will use it faithfully and not hide it, that we will use our gifts to serve you and the people around us so that others will know how great and wonderful a God you are. We pray all this in Jesus' name and everyone says, Amen.